A very good morning to you. Welcome. Well, today I'm thinking about Joshua and Moses and us. Um, in Joshua chapter 3, uh, verse 7, and now this is, this occurs, Moses has been the great leader who brought the people out of Egypt, led them for 40 years around the wilderness, and then was not allowed by God to go into the promised land, and Joshua was appointed leader in his stead. And Moses went up the mountain and, and died. And Joshua was left leading the people. And in Joshua chapter 3, verse 7, God says to him, This day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. And God tells him to take the priests and the Ark of the Covenant and stand, get them to stand on the edge of the Jordan and that as soon as they start to go and gather all the people and tell the people that they're going to cross the River Jordan. The River Jordan was in full flood. It was the time of year of harvest and uh, the, the river was very high and there was no way that they could cross. There was no ford any at that time of the year. And God was about to divide the River Jordan at flood just the same way that he divided uh, the Red Sea for the Israelites. God was going to show them that he was with Joshua just the same way he was with Moses by doing a very similar miracle. And the story is there to read of what happened and the next chapter tells us the whole story this amazing story that the river stood up piled up and did not advance and the riverbed became like dry as dry land became dry not even muddy but dry <laughs> amazing amazing what god did but it was this phrase as i was with moses so I will be with you. And I was thinking that this applies to us. As I was with the disciples, so I am with you. Jesus, am I pushing it too far to say that? Jesus promised that he would never leave us nor forsake us. But it's possible for us to think that all these years later, we're not the same, we're not the same culture we're not the same it's not the same world how can how can Jesus really be with us now in the same way as he was with his disciples well he can't be in one sense because his physical body is not here but his spirit is here indwelling each of us and Jesus in his prayer in John 17 verse 20 says I do not pray for these only but also for those who believe in me through their word. The glory which thou hast given me, I have given to them. Jesus promised never to leave us nor forsake us. And he also, when he prayed, made it quite clear that he was praying for the church, for the believers, all down through the ages. And that includes you and me. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you, Joshua. As I was with the disciples, so I will be with you, Church of 2023, Believer of 2023. The presence of God will never leave us. We mustn't live by feelings. Sometimes our feelings tell us God isn't there. Sometimes our prayers tell us God isn't there. Sometimes we pray for something and we seem to be hitting a blank wall. We seem to not get any answer. There's lots of reasons for that. It might be that we're asking for the wrong thing. And maybe next time you pray for that particular thing that you think God hasn't answered you for, that you before you pray, you say, Lord, how should I pray about this matter? 
Give me the words to say. And then perhaps pray in tongues for a bit. And then pray your prayer. Sometimes we've got it wrong. We're asking the wrong thing. We're not perfect. And the Lord knows we're not perfect. Sometimes it is that God has got to do an awful lot of work in the background with other people and circumstances before the prayer we've made can be answered. But one thing this is certain is that God has not left us. God does not leave us. Whatever your feelings say, they can't be trusted. You can't trust your feelings. Our emotions, our well-being go up and down and change with the weather. For some of us, if it's a rainy day, we're depressed. If it's dark and gloomy and cloudy, we're depressed. We feel low. If the sun is out, we feel bright and breezy. Those are feelings. Our, our faith is not based on feelings. Our faith is based on knowledge. And the knowledge we have is that Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will be with you till the end of the age. We have to believe it. Sometimes it does get bad, but it's often because we have moved away from God. It's never that God has left us. He promised he would never leave us. We might have tucked him away in a corner and got busy with things and not spent time with him and not, not spent time praising him, not got caught up in the busyness of life. But if we stop and wait upon the Lord, read his word, bless him and worship him, immediately we're in his presence. We feel it. But the feelings, it's not feelings we live by, it's knowledge. We know, we know he's never left us. He will never leave us. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you, Joshua. As I was with the disciples, so I will be with you, believer. It's my thought for the day. Have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye.